In this video, we're going to continue on with our exploration of shapes. In the last video, we were using the ellipse tool and the rectangle tool to create these shapes. But Illustrator has another tool that allows us to create shapes that are much more customized. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. First of all, I'm going to get rid of the shapes that I have in this document. You can do the same, or you can open up a new document by coming to the File drop-down menu and selecting New. I'm going to hit Delete. And the tool that I was talking about is this one over here, the Pen Tool. You can press P on your keyboard or select it here from your toolbox. The Pen Tool works this way. If I click with it, you'll see that it places an anchor point. And then as I move the Pen Tool, Illustrator shows me a preview of what the vector path would be if I was to click at this point. Here, I'm going to click once there like that. And you can see there is a vector path with two anchor points. I'm now getting another preview of the, the vector path. If I were to click here, let's do that. And you can see that as I proceed, I'm creating a shape with a series of straight lines. These anchor points are therefore called straight line anchor points or corner anchor points for obvious reasons. Now the shape I've just created here is called an open path. It's an open path because it's still got a, an unclosed edge here. Illustrator is still able to fill that shape even though it's not closed. But I can close it if I was to come along with my pen tool and click on the original anchor point. You can see Illustrator is also giving me a little indicator with that circle next to it that I'm about to create a closed path like so. But this isn't really the pen tool's strength. The pen tool's strength is creating precise curves. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to, again, get rid of this shape. Come along here to my black arrow, select it, press delete. And come back to my pen tool so that it is selected. Let me show you how the pen tool creates curves. I'm going to click on the left-hand side of my document once to create an anchor point. I'm now going to move my pen tool a little bit to the center of my document and I'm going to click. But before you do this, I want you to know I'm going to hold down my button and I'm going to click and drag my pen tool down and to the right like so. Click, hold, drag down and to the right like so. And you can see what's happening here. Oh, now I'm going to make a small change here before I do anything else. I still have the yellow color from the previous exercise associated with this shape. I'm going to get rid of that by coming over here to my color panel, and I'm going to make sure that my fill indicator is forward, and I'm just going to select none from the color swatch right here. Let's do one more thing. Let's bring the stroke indicator forward and set that to black so that we can see what we're doing. So as you can see here, Illustrator is giving us a preview of what the vector path would look like if I was to click right now. In fact, let's do that. Now you can see we have a smooth curve. And in fact, that's where this anchor point gets its name. This is a smooth anchor point. Now you can see something else that's showing up here. The handle that is coming out of that smooth anchor point, you can see it right here as my pen gets close to it here. That is called the anchor point handle. You can see it almost acts like a magnet, how it influences the curve of the line segment that it's associated with. As lovely as these smooth curves are, this isn't the shape I'm necessarily looking to create. What I'd like to do is to control the curve of the line segment that comes out of this anchor point and not let Illustrator do it for me. So let's back up just a little bit and let's see how I would do this the correct way. I'm going to go Command Z on my keyboard to undo that last anchor point placement. As you can see here, I still have my pen tool activated. And there is the last anchor point that I put down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm going to click once over this last anchor point that I just placed. And you can see that I now have this inverted V next to that pen tool. That's telling me that I'm going to convert this anchor point from a smooth anchor point to a corner anchor point with one click. I'm going to do that now. Okay. Now, I'm going to move my pen tool and I can tell that this anchor point has been converted to a straight line or corner anchor point because the preview line is now straight. I'm just going to move over here to the right side and this time I'm going to click and again drag down and to the right to create a seagull shape. Now again you can see that Illustrator has created for me a smooth anchor point. And again, I can tell it's a smooth anchor point because the preview line that's coming out of it is not in my control. You can see that it seems to be doing its own thing. Again, I don't want that. I want this last anchor point to be converted from a smooth anchor point back to a corner 
or straight line anchor point. And again, we do that by clicking on it once. Again, I now have that straight line preview coming out of that anchor point. I'm going to position this underneath the center anchor point of this body of this, what will eventually be a bird shape. I'm just going to click and again drag, but this time down and to the left. And you can see how that is shaping that line segment. Again, Illustrator has created for me a smooth anchor point. I don't want a smooth anchor point. I want to convert that. So I'm going to click on that again to convert that to a corner straight line anchor point. I'm going to finish up this shape by coming back to the original anchor point. And again, you can see I have a straight line preview. But when I click here, I'm going to click and not release. I'm going to click and drag down and to the left again, like so, to complete my bird shape like this. So I can hear you now saying, well, yeah, you made that look easy, but I'm having issues. And I've done this enough with enough students that I think I know some of the issues that you'll probably be having. So let's do this once more, but this time I'm going to do it with a couple of errors. Now the first thing I often see people do is they remember that we need to click and drag to make a curve. And so that they'll start and they'll click and then they'll start dragging right away. The problem with this is that you don't know what direction you need to drag to begin your process. As you become more experienced, you might be able to guess, but this becomes an awkward experience because people end up just going like this, and then all of a sudden they have this curve that becomes unwieldy. So what I always suggest, I'm going to go Command Z, remember, when you f the first click is simply a click, you don't drag. So let's just click once. Okay, so there we go. I've got my straight line and I know what I need to do here to get a curve, right? I need to click and drag, but I need to click and drag in a certain direction, right? I'm going to click and drag in this direction. Uh oh, and now you can see I have a problem. I have to make sure that I'm dragging in the right direction, in this case, down and to the right. What's interesting is that you can see that we tend to drag in the direction that we want the line to proceed in. So you can see that I'm dragging down and to the right here, and that is essentially the direction that this line is going to take. And so always remember to drag in the direction of the path. Okay, now here's the next thing that I often see people have a problem with. When they go to click on this last anchor point to convert it into a corner anchor point, is they'll sometimes be just off to the side of the anchor point, and you'll see what will happen here. The little convert icon at the bottom, the inverted V, is no longer there. If I click like that, you can see I haven't converted anything. That still remains a smooth anchor point. And to compound issues, I have an extra uh, anchor point here that now interferes with what I want to do with the rest of the shape. So if you are ever in a position where you've added an a, an anchor point in the wrong place. Don't keep going. Just press Command Z and try again. I'm going to do that here. Command Z. This time I'm going to come back. I'm going to make sure that I'm over that anchor point and I'm going to click to convert that. There I go. And now I have that straight line anchor point and there's my straight line preview that I can work with. Okay, if you in fact do create a line that is wrong, say for example I've created this line and I've kept on going for some reason and I've created this line over here and uh oh perhaps I kept on going and I finished my shape like this and uh oh now I've really made a mess can I go back and fix this later absolutely we can watch this once we've made a shape and we want to change it we can still do that but we're going to use a different tool I've been using the pen tool to create the shape but I'm going to use this white direct selection tool to modify the shape I'm going to click on that. And the way I modify shapes is by using the handle that is associated with that line segment and anchor point. For example, this curve here is fine, but this curve is wrong. How do I change that? I'm going to select this anchor point that is associated with that curve. Ah, look at this. I have a handle right here. That handle, if I click on it, I can move it in this direction and you can see how that changes the curve of that line segment. I'm going to just put it like this because I think this is roughly where I need that to be. And again, I'll mention how this handle acts like a magnet. The apex of that curve is essentially where you want to place that handle. I'm going to put it like that. 
the next anchor point though this one here the problem with it is that it is in the wrong place it actually needs to be underneath this anchor point over here I can with the white arrow move an anchor point that is already there for example I'm just going to take that anchor point and move it to where it's supposed to be now you can see this curve is starting to look correct I can change the nature of that curve by pulling that up like that but now I have a curve here that is causing me an issue. How do we navigate this? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this anchor point from a smooth anchor point back to a corner anchor point. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to come over to my toolbox and click and hold on my pen tool to reveal the subset of tools associated with the pen tool. In fact, I'm going to come over here to the tear off button and release that and float these tools out into their own window. In fact, I'm just going to bring them down here so we can see them a little bit better. These are the tools that control our pen tool and our paths. If we can understand how these tools work, we'll have a really good understanding of how to work well in Illustrator. The first issue I have is I need to convert this anchor point from a smooth anchor point to a corner anchor point. I can do that by coming over here to the anchor point tool the upside down V. If I select that, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to click once on the handle and hold. If I move that handle, you can see just that line segment is being affected. Well, that looks pretty good, but we have one last issue that I want to deal with. I have an extra anchor point hanging out here, and this anchor point isn't really helping along this curve. We're going to discover that when we create curves in Illustrator, we want to use as few anchor points as possible. The more anchor points we have on a curve, the more likely that curve is going to develop either a dimple, like I have here, or a pimple, like I have here. We don't want dimples or pimples on our curves. We want them to be smooth. I'm going to hit Command Z a couple times. We're going to remove any excess anchor points that are causing us issues. And the way we do that is, again, we're going to come over here to one of our pen tools, the Delete Anchor Point tool. And I'm going to click once on the anchor point that I want to get rid of. There we go. The reason I do that is that it now becomes much easier for me to modify this curve because I only have the two anchor points controlling it. And again, the way I do that is to use the white arrow tool. By the way, the keyboard shortcut for the white arrow is A. So if we are doing this process a lot, we may want to get familiar with the keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to choose my white arrow, and I can now click on the handle associated with that line segment and reshape that until I get it the way I want like that. Okay, I know that's a lot. But if we can understand how the pen tool works in Illustrator, we are going to unleash its vector powers and you will become a much more powerful designer for it.